Howdy y'all, so I trade up. And I'm back again to do another guard video. So today in this video we're going to add another unit to the regiment. In my never ending quest to build the world's largest imperial guard army. So I'm in the middle of packing up real fast. I'm moving to a new place. So I'm trying to do an inventory, which is kind of terrifying. It's a very massive Excel spreadsheet I have. Actually, it's multiple massive Excel spreadsheets. But that's not important. So while doing the packing, I uh, discovered some cool bits. I found three sets of the old Forge Ward Imperial Guard uh, Canadian Shotgun Vet Upgrade Packs. Sadly, Forge will discontinue them along with all the other goodies they have for Guard because they hate the Guard. <coughs> I didn't say that loud, did I? So, I'm gonna build these. I'm gonna make a, I have enough to make a, technically a squad and a half. But I'm just going to do a squad with some uh, plasma weapons. So uh, stay tuned and let's uh, take a look at these uh, upgrade kits. Okay, y'all, here they are. The shotgun vets and plasma gunners. So as you can see, uh, that's only seven heads, nine bodies, and uh, seven backpacks. Uh, because these plasma boys already have a bag on them. So we know we reason to give them a backpack. They also have a helmet. Um, so no reason to give them a helmet. So we're just going to use the heads that come in the old shotgun kit. So the shotgun kit actually came, used to be, it was four bodies. One, two, three, four. A spare shotgun, like five heads, five backpacks, and a bunch of mag pouches and stuff. I personally don't care about the mag pouches. Though sadly I only have two of these. So I will be using two of the shotgun pouches on two random guys. But, you know, I'm not a big fan of the extra angly bits. It's more stuff for me to paint and more stuff for me to mess up. So, I am going to do a little modification. Uh, we are going to cut off these, these coils here, here, and here. Just because I don't like how they look and they always get messed up and get in the way or break. Because they are very fragile and very, very thin. So, yeah, well, let's get to the cleanup process and get this ball rolling. So, putting these guys together was actually really simple. Before you put any models together, for those of you who don't know, especially Forge Ward, any type of resin models, they have a sort of mold release on them to get them out the mold so they don't stick and damage the mold they're pulled into. Now, this mold release to clean is just tab it down their soap and water and scrub it off and it'll come right off. If you don't do that, you're going to have some problems. Um, or actually, problems I ran into here. So, I did clean my models, but I made a sin. I primed my models in freezing temperatures. Actually, it was exactly at 32 degrees. And for those of you who don't know, if you prime in super cold weather, um, your paints will freeze in the air because it's just an aerosol and it'll freeze very quickly and it will clump up. You run into the same issue if you do it in a high humidity place. Like, for example, I live in a swamp, so I run into that same issue all the time. So you just gotta either be quick about it or do it indoors, but indoors has safety issues, so you just gotta find the happy medium. But when doing this though, I did have some clumping. I had a tad bit on the base and a tad bit on the back of the jacket, underneath the backpack. So the base was fine because I just dry brushed the base and it kind of looks like more like just dirt or battle damage. In the back of the jacket, I have enough paint on it. You can barely know this, and uh, these are regular line infantry guardsmen, so that's another thing I want to talk about real fast. In my personal opinion, not every model needs to be a display-worthy model. Now you're going to see later on, I did use this for display, but not everything needs to be Instagram perfection. So, just I want everyone to think about that when, you, when you're painting, you don't need to kill yourself when painting models, especially when you're painting horde armies. Because uh, as someone who has multiple hold on means you will lose your mind. Howdy y'all. Sorry to stop your regularly scheduled broadcast of me painting glorious guardsmen for the Emperor. But uh, we have a situation on our hands. I have done goofed. Um, yeah, I messed up. So, as of filming, tomorrow is Armies on Parade Day. 
So, what does that mean? That means I have to finish my board. My standard two by two board. And finish these last 10 guardsmen because I'm three squads away from what I wanted. So I have to find some other models I've painted in the last year to fill in that spot, which is fine. I got the ogre in, I got the platoon, I even tossed the tankers in there. And some other knickknacks, but um, yeah, so I have, so I have 14 hours as of now to finish this, which you say, okay, it's not bad. Well, it happens to be judging and my store starts at noon. So it's 10 o'clock at night, so it subtract two hours, an hour for me to get there. I also have to grab coffee and set my stuff up, so I have 12 hours. I need to sleep. And by the way, I haven't slept in, uh, I haven't got more than four hours of sleep in the last nine days because I've been at work, because the server caught fire, and I've been <sighs> rebuilding a server room because she caught fire. So, we are about to plow through. The last 20% of this guard squad, the Cadian, the Cadian shotgun vets. They're going to do this shitty board into a slightly better board. And they're going to drink a lot of coffee and drive my happy self all the way over to the GW. So, uh, yeah, let's get rolling. Let's find some monster energy drinks. So, funny story with this one. Uh, this is the same board I had in 2019, I think I mentioned earlier. I actually did the same exact thing with this in 2019. I uh, primed it. Lead belcher and washed it on the way to the store. I woke up, I primed my lead belcher it, and I put the wash on it, literally in the car as we're going, because I was uh, living in my roommates at the time, and we all rolled up there together with a still wet board. And I, uh, I, I, I sat in the car using my ex girlfriend's um, I don't know the thing they do the hair with the hair the hair gun thing, and dried it off, and then walked inside. Ah. <sighs> At one point, I had two years to fix this, or two years to actually make a board. And you know what I did? None of that. More of the stories, boys and girls. Uh, get yourself on time with uh, time to spare. It's pushing to 45 a.m. now. Um, I done goofed. So, uh, by the way, washes, if you lay them on thick, take forever to dry. Just, uh, hey, what's the advice? I I'm here for you. I, I didn't know that, but I was in such a rush, I was like, slap, slap, slap. Well, so I am as finished as one can be. Let's see this. Oh yeah, so. It's not the greatest. I spent 45 minutes-ish dry brushing. I had the gold eagle. The bronze thingies, I don't know what those are called, mantles? Man mantles. And I made some of that jerry can, so there's some color to it. Could I do more? Yes. Do I want to do more? Yes. Will I do more? Uh, not meow. That is a meow later problem. Um, the gods are done, so let's take a look at them. So as you just saw, that was my board. Um, saw the little videos I took. It was a cool event. Like, there was 10 people on mine, nine, and half of them were Necron boards. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and do all those things. And uh, I will see you on the flip side. Stay safe, y'all. Bye. So now that I'm back from um, Armies on Parade, I did a little bit more touch up work on these guys got them what they need to be now we can uh, put them in the case so this can be the first 10 of my veteran company I want to do some like combat engineers some other specialty units some just random one-off things so uh, yeah let's put them in the case and see how they all look together here they are um, 10 veterans with shoddies and plasma next to the Ogun counterparts we also have the Three Musketeers from the Tank video. And we have the God Platoon with the Commissar. Um, so all in total, 89 miniatures of the God Regiment. I mean, I have more miniatures. This is just one of my cases, but this is the uh, the case I'm making for the uh, 
YouTube case. So, uh, I, with that note, I will see you on the flip side. Thank you for watching, and uh, stay safe, y'all.